FNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update, and currently it's a bloodbath out there. You've got all the U.S. indices trading to the downside. The Dow's down about 2%, 615 points. The S&P, 2 and 7 tenths, or 108. NASDAQ, 3 and a quarter percent. That's down 387. Russell's off 3 and 7 tenths, 66. Semi's down about 4%, or 111 points. Gold's off 2.5%, uh, or 45 bucks. Silver, down a little over 3%, 68 cents. That's trading out at 21.24. Natural gas is off 20 pennies. Light sweet crude is up 50 cents. The 30-year treasury down nearly three points. 132.23 is the uh, print. So let's do this here. Let's go take a look at our indice charts out here. We'll move over to those momentarily. Just see what kind of messages they're providing us, if any. And uh, there we go. So what we know about the Dow is it's testing the low from May 20th. That low out there is 36.35. We're trading at 37.70. You could get a rejection of that swing point. What I don't know is whether it will be on lighter volume or not. If it is, then that would be suggesting that the Dow should move up to 31.998 or thereabouts. The S&P 500 also testing its swing point from May 20th. That low out there is 38.10. It's trading out at 37.89. So right now, uh, prices trading below that swing point, even if it's with lighter volume, still says we could head lower. But if you do close back above it on lighter volume, you'll have a rejection of a swing point and suggest a bounce to 39.96. If you take a look at the NDX 100, the swing point that it's testing from May 20th, that low is 11.492. We're at 11,436, so that's the area to be watching. The Russell 2000 has triggered a Rhodes Mintum indicator signal. That would require a bullish reversal candle to confirm a bottom, much like the New York Stock Exchange down below that and the NASDAQ composite. That takes us over to the semiconductor index. The semiconductor index is testing what? Where is the swing point? It's testing the swing point here from May 13th. That low out there is 2754.70. We're 2717. If you close below that, that suggests lower price. I do see a wave number seven that is present. So a higher low would generate a seventh wave move bottom out there. And the transports are trading below their swing point, which is from May 20th. That low at 13163. So it does look good out here, but it's all going to be based upon today's close and volume as price tests those key swing points for May the 20th. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. After that, Tom O'Brien will take us on home. I'll be back with you on Terrific Tuesday. You have a magical, magnificent Take care.